Peretz, Piraha, and Prolog. In the next couple of videos, what we're going to be doing is trying to teach Prolog how to count. And in order to gain insight into the whole counting process, we're going to compare and contrast several entities here. The first is Alex the Parrot, and a remarkable claim is being made by Alex the Parrot that Alex can count, even though Alex is a parrot. And we'll be comparing and contrasting Alex the Parrot with the Piraha. Now, who are the Piraha? These are a tribe in the remote jungles of the Amazon. And a remarkable claim is made about them as well. The claim is made that the members of this tribe cannot count, even though they are human beings. Very interesting. Very interesting claims being made about these two entities. So what we're going to do is we're going to compare and contrast these two entities and see what insight this gives us into the whole process of counting. And maybe this will give us a grip on how we can teach Prolog how to count. All right, so first let's talk about Alex the Parrot. Uh, Irene Pepperberg, I'm just such a big fanboy of hers, she found a wonderful new way to train animals. Uh, and she was able, using this method, to train this parrot to do things that no parrot has ever gone before. So I'll just give you a few clips of what Alex can do here. How many? Chow. That's right. You're a good Come boy. Come on. How many corners? What shape? What shape? Four. Corner. Four corner, good boy. We'll go okay, Alex, look. Well, look what I got for you. Hey, look. Look at all these neat toys. Look. Hey, look, can you tell me? On the tray, how many green block? How many green block? Look on this the tray. This is a how miniature many green logic problem. Block? Alex can't just count up all the green things, and he can't just count up all the blocks. Alex has never been trained with this particular collection of things. How many green blocks? Good parrot. Two green block. Two good parrot. Yeah, way to go, Alex, man. That is really impressive. Now, if you've been doing the prologue homework, I know exactly what you were thinking during that voice over there. You were thinking, wow, uh, yeah, what is a green and what's a block? This, this, this sounds exactly like a prologue query. I, I bet I could do something like this in prologue. <laughs> so yeah, join me over at the terminal and, and let's see if we can reproduce Alex in prologue here. Okay, let's take another look at uh, what Alex is doing here. Let's take a look at it from, uh, from Alex's eye view here, right? So we have a picture. And uh, on this tray, there's, a, there's how many blocks are there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight blocks, right? And these blocks, two of them are green, and the rest of them are blue. Okay, so let's uh, let's go ahead and model that in Prolog. We'll say uh, block is the predicate that says this is a block. And then we'll just make uh, some objects here, V1 through V8. 1, V2, V3, V4, V5. V6, V7, V8. Let's see if I can count. Okay. And uh, the first couple of these, there are two of them were green, right? So let's say green, B1. So B1 is a block, right? And B1 is green. And we'll do the same thing for B2. And the rest of the blocks were blue, right? So we'll say blue. B4, B5, B6, B7, right? Oops. Yeah, I can't count myself here, so uh, I, I need this uh, lesson more than anybody does, right? There we go. Right? Okay, what else was on the tray here? Let's take a look. Looks like there's some, some toy cars here. How many toy cars are there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven cars. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven cars. And we have two of them are, actually three of them are green. This one, one, two, three of them are green. And the rest are blue. Okay, so let's model that in Prologue now, too. So we have a um, car. We'll say there's, there's seven of these, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. C1, C2, C3. Four, five, six, seven. Okay. 
And uh, what were the colors of these guys? Let's see. Three of them were green, right? So let's uh, let's put the green ones here. Green C1, green C2, green C3. Okay. And the rest of them were blue. So let's uh, put the blue ones here. C4, C5, blue C6, blue C7. All right, so this is a complete description of the scene as seen from Alex's viewpoint. This is the puzzle that's presented to Alex, right? So let's go ahead and compile it and play around with it here a little bit. Compile it. All right, looks like we did it okay. No errors. And remember, what, what was the query that was presented to Alex here? The query was, how many green blocks are there, right? So let's uh, type in green. Green X and block X. That's the that's uh we get two blocks here, right? Two, two things that are that are green and that are a block. Right? But of course we get them one after another here. We want if we're gonna count them, we want them all at once, right? Well, remember last time we had a way of doing this using the find all, right? So what we do is we say find all and then we say X, and then we give the query of that we want to do. And now the last one is the list of uh, where we want to put the list of all these guys, right? So we hit return. There we go. We get a list of, of B1 and B2. And remember, B1 and B2 are the green blocks. Okay, but Alex can't just point them out here. This is kind of like pointing them out. Now, the next thing we want to do is we want to actually count these guys, right? Well, uh, you don't know how to do that in Prolog yet. Uh, some of you brave souls during the last homework uh, figured it out on your own or did some reading up on it. But um, <laughs> right now, you know, from, from what I presented to Prolog, you don't really know how to do this. But we, we can parrot what Alex the Parrot is doing in Prolog here. So let's do that. So we'll say uh, count like this. We'll make a two-place two relationship. Count. And the first one will be a list of stuffs. And the second one will be the number of the things that are in that list of stuffs. Now, since Alex can only count to six, um, it's easy enough to do. We make a list which has one element, and we'll say one. We'll have, make a list which has two elements. Here, we'll say two. Okay, we'll make a list that has three elements. By the way, these uh, underscores here are what's called anonymous variables in Prolog. These are prolog variables, if, if you don't really care what the value of these, the variables are, oops, if you don't care what the value of the variables are, you can just uh, put underscores there. Each underscore will be a different uh, variable than, than the other one, and prolog will just ignore them. It won't print them out, the values, or anything like this. And finally, Six. All right, now let's compile this. Okay. So now if we redo our query here, we get our, our list that's here. But now we want to count the list. So we'll say count. And then the variable XS has the list in it. So let's put XS here, XS. And then N is the number. And there you go. It counts it, just like... Alex the parrot did. Now, the problem here is, of course, uh, we, we can't just keep doing this forever, right? I mean, we have to, um, you know, we want something to work not just for some finite number of, of things. We want it to work for any number of things. In, in point of fact, this is why I believe, this is my claim, okay? My claim is Alex the parrot is doing something close to counting, but not really counting. If Alex the parrot was really counting, Alex could count arbitrarily high. And it's something that any four-year-old or five-year-old kid can do. And it's something that we've never, ever been able to teach an animal to do. We've never been able to teach an animal to count higher than, than six or seven. 